All right, let's solve for x. The first thing I notice is the two out front. It's that Superman idea. We have to do the power property. Throw that two up as an exponent on the x. So now I have log of x squared minus the log of three equal to two. The subtraction will become division through the quotient property. So it'll be the log of x squared over three is equal to two. Well, this one has an invisible base of 10. Now I can take logarithmic form and turn it into exponential form. So this really becomes x squared over 3 is equal to 10 squared. Expand the 10 squared. So x squared over 3 equals 100. I need to get rid of that over 3 by multiplying by 3 on both sides. So x squared is now equal to 300. Get rid of the square by taking the square root. But because it was an x squared, it's not just the square root of 300. It's really plus or minus that square root. Well, let's break it down as the product of perfect squares first. 300 divides by 100 three times, so x could be the positive or negative 10 radical 3. Or if you'd rather have a decimal answer, it's approximately plus or minus 17.32. Because remember, when you square a positive, it's positive, and when you square a negative, it's positive. And that's why there's really two answers, the positive and the negative.